So we can go to uh, config that properties, just replace this. Okay. So let me give this um, URL. But you, you have to make a lot of changes. Uh, we'll see one by one, okay? So let's go to pages first, uh, home page, home page. So we'll try to recognize uh, open cart logo. So that's our logo, what it is there. So this is the one, right? I'll copy this and uh, can you scroll? Okay, so HTTP. Okay. So this one, right? We have. A, we need to check whether it is a correct or not. It's not working. So we have to see what is the problem. DYD logo is there. Logo after A, then H1 is not there. So H is not there. So change that. So A image is there. So I'm changing A greater than IMG. Perfect. So this is the one, just change that logo. Okay, that's the first change. So I am modifying that. Okay, that is done. In your search, we are not using. Maybe you can remove this. Not a, not required in the home page. This one search. I am removing that. In your, I am not using that here. We'll see that later. After login only, we are going to do that. Then my account. So what is this my account status? Let's go and see the my account. So this one, I think it's good, ULLI2A. I think we are good here. All so, right, we are, uh, so my account span, LI2A, do ID top links, huh? So I can see, so we should not take, uh, yeah, it's identifying. No issues in that. Okay. We're good. So my account is good. So under my account, this one. Yeah, register. That is a link. This is also a link. So we're good here. This is good. This is good. This is good. No issues in that. And uh, now get to register page, go to login page, get open card, logo text. So this is the problem. Uh, that image text, I don't think so. We'll get it. Instead of that, uh, is displayed, I'll put that. It'll change this to Boolean. So this method, please change this and we'll uh, change this. So element dot, I'm putting element dot is display. Okay, well, so that I'll assert there. So what we are changing in the home page. So, I'll say is um, method name also I'll change. Is open cart logo present or exist? Is open cart logo exist? Test method name I changed. 
So same way, home page test also will change. This is the method name. This method name we need to call that. So that will change that method. So this is the two changes only in the home page test. Home page. Done. Home page is done. Yes, sir. Okay, let's go to the home page test. Okay, let's go to the home page test. See here, verify open cart logo test. That's fine. The method name is fine. And here, the method name is uh, so you have to use asset true instead of asset equals, you use asset true. So, home page dot. is open cart exist that's it and what is the page title we need to see what is the page title your store that's a page title uh, is this the same we have given page title in your store yeah i think in the constants we give constants we have given right let's go there Okay, we are good. So that other constants, we didn't change anything. That is good. Okay, we didn't change this. So, and I think we are good with uh, this. First no, and the test. constants we gave your store. Oh, that is the same here also. Same here also, right? The okay. title, page title, home page title. It's the same. Yeah, it's the same. Only this logo has uh, no change. Okay. Okay, but registration base, a lot of changes are there. So I want them really, so I took that, all the things. Address section I have taken. So that we, we have to address that. First, uh, we'll run the home page, okay? We'll run the home page. Let's go here and uh, I'll just comment out this, okay? Just comment out to comment the Excel uh, tag. That is the one and just put that. So you can see here the commenting, how to comment, so this is the one. So exclamatory mark, exclamatory mark, dash dash, and then, so the tag name, and the last you put is dash dash, so greater than symbol or less than symbol. Okay, so now I'll run this. Let's run this first. So my unclean. If my home page is working fine, then I'm good. I can proceed with my registration. In your registration, we have to do a lot of uh, things, change. Uh, we'll do that. Yes, here more test cases are going to come here. In the registration page, you can do negative test cases, you can do, even in the positive test case, it will, uh, so it will be different. Okay, all are passed. Okay, so home page test is perfect. No issues. Now, let's go to registration page. Here we need to add so many uh, fields we are going to add. Let's open our blog. Go to registration page. So register account is there. So even in the constant space also register accounts. Register account that is fine. Title is not changed, that is good. And now, remaining these are all we need to find out. This uh, first, uh, I think this is also perfect. 
home page is uh, IFA home. That's a, this is also perfect. No change here, right? No change here. FAFA home. Getting so some errors, sir, actually. Where? Uh, when I run the home page, mm -hmm. it's showing uh, it is run by another. Uh, one second. Fail to execute goal uh, Apache resource plugin on project open cart automation. It is the process cannot access the file because it is being used by another process. Oh. Okay. The data Excel some is showing. Can you share your screen? Okay. 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 One by one you take up. So register account header. So what is this register account header? Um, go here. This one. So see that what is the. So this is perfect. So H1 tag. No issues in that. Okay. Next. Register account static text. So let's copy this and whether it is working or not, check that. So that is also working fine. No issues. Register account login page link. So this is the change. I don't know if we didn't modify. This one. This one also good, I think. We don't have any issues. That are also good. We have no issues in that. Um, what is this? Legend. What is that legend? This one, I think. Yeah, so that is uh, your personal details. Okay, that is fine. <laughs> I think we have to give personal details, uh, text or something. Better to give like this. Personal details, uh, legend text. I'll change this, okay? Next, okay, next. I think these are all fine. We used ID, right? Input first name, that is correct only. Last name. Input email, uh, email, so email, input email, input email, correct only. Fax is there, but uh, fax also we have to identify. Fax is not a mandatory field, input telephone. So this also input telephone. So identify one more element that is. Fax. Fax edit box. Extra element, we got it. For this, you create a setter method. Then we have uh, these are the fields address, your address field, our address section we have to identify. Address ID, field set ID, legend you can write. Field set um, address. Right? So this one I can use this. Your address. Uh, Present text. Let it find by section fields. <laughs> Let it find by CSS equal to.
address legend text. Okay, so in the address first company, company edit box. these things take one by one and give it okay id you take so if you want different you try id name one by one Next address one. This one I did box. This one edit box. Next, address to edit box. So, address to edit box. City. What is this? City edit box. Anything in the world, just do it in box. Okay. Yeah, I'll add. So here we are covering a drop down also. That's good. Uh, we can cover the drop down thing also here itself. Everything. So all the elements you are getting here itself. So that that's a good sign for us, right? Uh, postal code edit box. Post code edit box. Post code edit box, now country drop down. So you can automate this uh, drop down thing. See, select a tag. All the options, country names are coming. So I don't need to go to some other place also for again explaining the, this ID. Country drop down. So, right. And create by in by space is equal to hash ID value private web element country drop down. So we have one more drop down, right? So write that also. State drop down.
Okay, password is can all are good. So we are good. Everything is fine, right? Remaining all are perfect. These things are input password. Uh, input confirm. These are all perfect. So no issues in this value one, value zero. So we're good, value zero. So this also agree, radio button, I think, agree. Name is agree. So perfect. Okay. Have you completed all the elements? Now we need to write the methods for them. So let's develop the methods. Again, setter methods only, right? For uh, all these setter methods only. Extra what you got, facts, set facts. So right. What is fax? This is another number, a phone number like. So you want to send some content through papers to one place to other place that you will send through fax. Never heard about this? I think by the time you guys, uh, that fax concept has gone already. No. Set facts. Uh, set facts. Yeah. String facts. So you can give the facts value. So we can call. Enter the facts available. So send the data, right? Edit box. And facts, you type it. Next. So what is the next one thing? That company, set company. So let's write a few more sector methods. Set company. Company, enter the company value. Box, next address one, set address one. Let's do Rest to So 
next um, city set city and postal code right two more methods i'll develop here city Here, capital letter. So, what is the next one? Post four. Set post four. Four. So next one, uh, how can you select the country? Hmm. Already we have a method there, you can call the method, right? So what is the method you need to call? If you want to select a, an option from drop down by label text, what is the method you need to call? Select by label text. Select by label text. Okay. Mm -hmm. String option text. So you give the option text that will select. So you have to call selecting an option. Select an option from country. Drop down. I live. So you give the value while uh, calling this method, wherever you are calling this method, okay? Parameterized method we are doing. So, but I have to call first uh, select by select mm, select option by visible text. So country drop-down and this text, okay, that's it. Same thing for the state also. Select uh, state. Some text, that's fine. Here also, put state. So you want me to buy value attribute? Let's do buy value attribute, okay? So same by value attribute. So you can cover all the methods, right? Select, Select by. option by value. By value attribute. So. Here you have to use state uh, drop down option text. Now, this is not option text, it's an attribute value. Okay, change it to attribute value. So that's all. 
so instead of you know uh, again individually calling we'll do one thing so we'll just fill the address info one method will write we'll call these methods one by one so another method i'll develop so this method only i'll call that public so wide fill address details so simple one method i'll call but i'll make a parameterized method this one this also i'll make parameterized string company string address one string address, address two string city right yes city string post code post code string option text string attribute well that's it these are all the parameters while writing that, that uh, above methods no set as method on uh, before that also we can write this method right yeah so these instead of this uh, this method you can write that then i'm what i'm doing instead of writing all this you can write this method itself and you can call one by one that, mm -hmm. that also you can do. either one so I'm, I'm just giving you options to you mm -hmm. either all this you can do okay now what i'm doing i'm just calling this method only there Simply just calling this method. How to call the method one non static method inside another non static method? Simply I'll give like this. That's it. So next set address one, right? So you give address one. So this is the practice also how to call the methods one method parameterized method is in another method that's going to be a big practice for you a lot of people doesn't know this how to call also so one method inside another already existing method how to call and many people are not aware of this uh, so it's going to be best practice so just do this set uh, city, city. Set uh, postal code, post code. Then next one is select, right? Select country. Select a country. Select a state. State. Attribute value. So easy, right? Now, so you can call only this method. Okay. That's how we can do that. If you don't want to give this value, you don't want to set, you can write a logic here. So if value is not null, so right, you can see set uh, company. Company is not a mandatory field, right? So we can provide or we may not provide. So what you can do, simply you can see if string dot is empty, Company name, company dot is empty. That means I want to know he is not empty. If he is not empty only, you said this. Otherwise, that is not going to execute for you. So no issues. Okay. I'll just add a try catch blocks here. 
So that's the how you can add the code. Okay, what we did here. So this is not a mandatory field, right? I can give empty also, not necessary to give. Just if it is not empty only, you set the data. Otherwise, leave it. I'm saying if it is not, if it is not entering any data, so what I can do, I can um, so skip it and it will continue further. It won't stop here. So it will continue. So that's what I'm doing here. So you can call only this method. Same registration also you can do instead of calling multiple methods, you can call uh, one by one. Okay. Are we done? One minute. It's done. Done? Okay. Let's go and uh, call these methods in the registration test case. This also, if you want, you can create one method and but so it will take a lot of right. Just include okay somewhere here this method uh, where we need to select subscribe. I'll include here right. So password uh, before I'll include log dot info. Just what I'm doing. I'm just. Uh, Drink. Press details. So just call that method reg pz dot fill. But make sure you why it is getting like this. Fill address details. Make sure you get all the details, okay? Uh, company and everything, you have to get it here. So maybe you can get all these things in the values in the, so before class itself, that really helps you. A setup, right? Like a setup. You can make a global variable and the variable values, you can get it. So that also you can do. But, uh, yeah, let's go and do that. And I'll uh, get them. One by one here. String company. So name equal to. You call that web driver factor random string. Okay, this method you call it. So we just want this right. That's it. Next. So next, what we want? This company name you pass it. So Next, what we want, address one, right? String, address one equal to, same method you call. Just two also, same method you will call. So address three also, what is the next one? Address one, address two, city, right? City. City, I think you have to, that's fine. So it doesn't matter, right, any city. And if you want the city randomly, you can, there is a one 
Java Faker API. So that will generate the random address, random city, and everything. We can use the Faker API, but we need to add the Faker uh, dependency in the form.xml. So can we use that? It will generate the fake data. Okay. Shall I show that? Yes. Yes, sir. So let's go and add that Faker API. So just Google it and you will get, or you go to our uh, MVN repository. So you can just type here, Java Faker API. Where is this? Java Faker. Hmm. Yeah, this one. So Java Faker. Can you see this? The first one. So click on this, take uh, any one, fine. Copy this and paste it in there. So you have to add in dependencies. Yes. So this is the, let me ping you in the chat. If you are struggling, this one you take. Copy and add in the dependencies. Any new library if you want to add, you have to add in the pom.xml under dependencies section. Under dependencies section, above the end dependencies tag above, you need to add. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Then control S. So you have to add this. So how to use this and everything is very clearly given in our blog. So everything you will get everything here. Okay. Java Faker, you can see here. Java Faker API, can you see here? See it. Generate real-time fake data using Faker class. So basically in your testing, you can use this automation purpose. You can use this. So this is the one we added now, dependency. And this is the gradle thing. So you have to create like this faker. So faker object you create. And you can send generate if you want to generate with the different locals. So based on the, if you want US or India, so whatever the one you want. And you can give this and uh, it will generate the US data. So all this you have uh, locals here. So finance, food, all this kind of no address. All this it will generate automatically. So I have, see, even company name also will get, first name, last name also it will generate. So it, it, it automatically generates, uh, so the data with the real names, not, now for example, you are using a random string, right? It just generate the string, but not the real name, but this will give you the real name, okay? That's what the, this faker, see all, everything I have given here. Uh, so get email, set email, whatever you want, okay? You can generate the, so the, whatever the uh, fields of data you want and automatically it will generate. So new fake, and you can generate the get alpha numeric string. This also you can use, but uh, this is how you can generate. So here is the one real use. What I did here is, I created a faker object and a faker object dot address dot first name. So this will give you that. Automatically you can uh, use this wherever you want. So let's go and use this uh, directly. Faker. Here faker it will uh, only address details only it will generate, right? Not only address, any data, first name, last name, you want phone number, everything it will generate the data for you. 
Okay. Okay. Everything it will generate. So maybe I'll use what 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 will I do? I'm going to do before test. I will use here. Okay. Before test, I'll set up the data. Here I will set the data. Okay. So global variables I'm declaring public wide setup registration data. Setup registration data. Okay. Clear? One minute, can you show that uh, where you add the dependencies? Like So, okay. Farm.xml you added, right? That's right. It's at the top of the last closing dependency. Anywhere you can under dependencies. Okay. Under a dependencies tag only, in between the dependencies tag only. This is the individual dependency, right? Should be under a dependencies only. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so what I'm going to do in the before test, I'll set the data. So this faker, fk will is equal to new faker. So import this, see, automatically imported. So whatever the data you want, you set it. So make it a general global variable you make. You can use any method inside, right? So for example, I want a string f name, string l name, string. What are things other we have? Fields. Email. Email. So email also you can generate. Email, you know how we have used? I'll use a telephone, okay? Telephone. Telephone also, we set it, but still if you want, you can generate. String facts if you want, you can. String company name. Address one. String. Okay. I think all this data, so as I created on the top, you can get that. Uh, so class and instead of declaring here, and you can do that. Get you can set it and you can get it. So that, but fine. So uh, what we want to address one. It is becoming very very big. That's why. Address to string city, string city, postcode, postcode. That's it, right? Country, country, country. You have to country. select, you have to give. Okay, okay. You want to give country also randomly? That's fine. You can pass it, right? Mm -hmm. Country. State. State. But to make sure that state and country should be there in that uh, uh, so drop down. Otherwise, it won't uh, generate, okay? See, first name. Next, what is that? Telephone. Let's 
स्टेट इज देयर जिप कोड बाय स्टेट इज देयर स्टेट फोन नंबर ओके इट्स नॉट हियर so let's see here what is the so we can go here and we have telephone number so email also we can generate so here email also we can generate company name we can generate password okay state country cell phone yeah phone number dot phone number method is there then cell phone and no, why it didn't come phone number yeah dot cell phone sir above we given right uh, take obj dot address address mm -hmm. where so that method where it is there this method is different and this method is different uh -huh. address this. where we are declaring that method this we are not declaring this is all in this class uh, faker class Okay, okay. That object I am using, right? Object dot mm, these objects. Okay. So okay. these are all faker class methods. Address mm -hmm. method, first name method, last. These are all faker class methods. Okay, okay, okay. Mm. Facts also you can use the same if you want. <coughs> what other methods are there? Let me see. Instead of cell number, you have phone number also. Mm. Extinction. Meanwhile, use phone number otherwise. Okay. So here you can use a phone number, but fine, well, whichever it is. Right. Next uh, company name did we generate? Company name. Yes, sir. <clears throat> it's not in the company name. Where is in the company name? Company name in the oh, the letter company name is there. So next address one, address one equal to fkobz dot address method dot, you can say building number, right? Building number you can give, so building number. Address two. Instead of building number, we can give a different what is the other one we have. Mm -hmm. Full address means it will give full address. We don't want full address. Mm -hmm. City. Country by zip code. Oh, this you can use for zip code. Maybe latitude I can give. Let's give latitude. Okay, second address. Here is the second address. Uh, so then use get bits in itself. Length on reason. Fine, I think um second address, whatever it is. 
I want to use long latitude values for this. Fine. So next what is city, right? City is pending. Record. But we have to give country based on the country we want, right? Country by city, country by zip code by state. Country by zip code is the third one. This we can use. But um, Country by zip code. This is country by zip code. County by zip code. County by zip code. So we have to give county. Let's give con country for value. Let's see what we'll get. Then country. So fake object. Dot country. State. Baker object dot state. So this is all the data you can use. This is how you can generate the data and you can call already late. So we'll do, we'll continue tomorrow, okay? So, Please finish and uh, come back.